white wine, sangria, and that's okay. See you later. Hi everyone, Join Jules here, and today we're gonna to be making a white wine sangria. So for a white wine sangria, I recommend you get your favorite white wine. A dry white wine is best. We're gonna need an orange liqueur. I'm gonna be using some peaches for this recipe. I have some fresh strawberries, and I'm gonna be using a little bit of lemon. Now remember, when you make white wine sangria, you're gonna to wanna to make it ahead of time. I recommend chilling in the refrigerator for two hours before you're ready to serve. Once we have all of our ingredients ready to go, it's time to start making our sangria. Let's chop up our fruit. I am just gonna do little long slices. I'm just gonna add it to my pitcher. So now I'm going to do my strawberries. I'm just gonna add two of them into our pitcher. Lastly, we're gonna cut up some lemon slices. From here, what we're gonna do, I have a half cup of my orange liqueur all ready to go, so we're gonna add that to our pitcher. Now our ingredient of the hour is white wine. We're gonna add our whole bottle of white wine. I'm going to give it a good stir. Now that I have all of my ingredients in, we've mixed it together. We're gonna put this in the fridge for about two hours. So after about two hours, your sangria is ready to serve. So the best way to serve sangria is in a wine glass filled with ice. I'm going to fill up my glass about three quarters of the way full with my sangria. We're gonna garnish the inside of our glass. I'm gonna start by adding just a few fresh peach slices. A little fresh strawberry slice is gonna help brighten it up as well. So I'm gonna add two slices of fresh strawberry in there. I'm going to cut it in half and I'm going to put our lemon in there. What we're gonna do next is we're just gonna to top with some bubbles. We're just gonna give it a little bit of bubbles on the top. Lastly, I like to garnish with fresh mint. Once we have our cocktail all ready to go, let's just taste it, make sure it tastes good. This is a really easy recipe, and if you're looking for a batch cocktail, this couldn't be easier. There you have white wine sangria. It's gonna be your new summer favorite. Remember, for those of you who are making this recipe at home, we wanna see your cocktail, so make sure to tag us at TasteMade so we too can sip and enjoy our sangria together. Cheers.